really have to find your footing. Completely new group for the Bucks. So Oklahoma City going with almost an entire new group here. And Oklahoma City, looking at who they've got. They've got Holmgren, and it's Joe in at the two guard. Williams against Connaughton. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Second chance shot, and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Bucks. They're working themselves to the line, using great fakes and getting into the body of the shot blocker. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. It's Martin on the wing. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. From deep. They get it back. Out to Rose. Back to Cousins. And here's MP from outside. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Pass to Joe. Back to Wall. Here's Joe. One eleven left to play in the first quarter. Here's Williams. The shot off that time. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. It's Martin on the wing. Williams defending. Martin with the bucket. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Here's Holmgren. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. You can trust Wall to find those openings. He's a talented distributor who wouldn't miss that chance. And here's MP from outside. And the box hit again from deep. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Outside, Williams. Back to Wall. Check by Cousins. Martin, first personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Thunder. That free throw, no good. And the Bucks making a change here. Allen's checked in. Good on the second one. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter. And here's MP from outside. Buries it from three. Martin's got 12 points in the game. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And he converts the layup. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Rose, the pass to Martin. He got it up. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks up 15 points as this quarter concludes. A tremendous defensive effort against John Wall, frustrating the star point guard. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Checked in for Portis, and it's Connaughton in for Holiday. At the line for one. That free throw good from Middleton. Well, Middleton, a guy who's just so effective out there. He puts up points, he scores with great efficiency, and we've just seen him in so many clutch moments just come through for this team. Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. Giannis Antetokounmpo is out there with MP. And it's DiVincenzo in at the point. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. 
Well, guys, Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of the deadliest drivers in the league, Coach Nick Nurse of the Raptors said, quote, his first step is unbelievable. It's hard for anybody to keep him in front of him, and once he blows by you, he can slow down, he can sidestep. He's got a lot of things going. Brian? Well, it's fun to watch, Allie. Thanks for that. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Martin with the ball. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Puts up a three. And another three for Milwaukee. And Middleton also capable of preventing points at the other end, Brett. And I think this progression of Middleton having that length and switchability along with experience is helping him build that defensive resume. He'll hit the defensive glass. Just a terrific all-around player. Martin with the bucket. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Cousins, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Rose comes in for DiVincenzo. Martin with the bucket. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Outside, Williams to the inside. Drummond. And Drummond with the jam. And Drummond just rising up and gets on top of the defense. Martin right side. And another three for Milwaukee. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Gilgis Alexander finds Williams. No luck on that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. It's off to Detroit after this game, where they will face the Pistons. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. Martin with the bucket. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. The way he's struggling this quarter, he's only adding to their troubles. They need his offense to come around. Middleton outside. Back to Martin. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. First personal foul. Substitution on the court. He got it up. No good on the shot. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks already up 26 points as this quarter ends. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And pick and rolls never more prevalent in the league than they are right now. And there's always someone the defense has to leave open in those scenarios, Grant. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's such a simple play, but it's so difficult to defend, especially with the shooting that we now see in the NBA and the great spacing on the floor. It's a play, as you said, every team uses and executes well in their offensive attack. On the court for the Thunder. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy. Then there's John Collins. Then it's Andre Drummond. And it's Williams in at the three. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Magic was a man on a mission. He dropped an amazing number of points, and it was his highest point total of the season. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. It really was some night for him. He couldn't have been much better, Grant. Yeah, B.A., there was nothing they could do to contain him. Once he got rolling, it was game on. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. Here's Williams. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And already Giannis has a regular season MVP, a finals MVP, plus a defensive player of the year award, winning all three trophies by the age of 26. Excellent. For Oklahoma City, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Collins. 
Inside. That's good from Drummond on the assist by Collins. Drummond's got 10. A big man, John Collins, seeing the court that time. Verona de Kumpo, you can also throw in an all-star MVP. Brent, that puts him in elite company. Well, thanks, B.A. I did forget that one, and that's a major one, too. But the Greek Freak, just the second player ever to win those four awards. The first, John, of course, MJ. It just tells you Giannis is already an all-time great. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. And here's MP from outside. Connects from downtown. Martin's got 39. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Here's Drummond. And the Andre jam Drummond. by Drummond. And there are these nights where Andre Drummond just gets it going and feels unstoppable. And here's MP from outside. Doesn't go for him. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Bucks foul. Martin. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. First. Here's Holmgren, covered by Connaughton, and stolen by Connaughton. They've got Grayson Allen. Pat Connaughton is out there with MP. Then there's Derrick Rose, and it's Zeller in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. To the paint. And that one's good. Holmgren. Giddy and his feel for the game go well beyond his experience in the NBA. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Well, your Hall of Fame dad, Rick, made some interesting comments, Brent. One of them encouraging the league to crack down on illegal screens. No way, B.A. My dad said something that was controversial or interesting. You got to get, get out of here. Yeah, I mean, illegal screens, do we want to see less of them? Sure. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. From deep, MP. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Wall. Throws it up high. And Collins with the slam. Man, so impressive. Collins way up for that one. Collins against Martin. The three. The Thunder pull it in. Right side wall. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Yeah, John Collins in a nice lather here. Versatile, explosive, high energy, and doing the job scoring it. From deep, MP. And again for three. The parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. And that latest triple ties him for second for most threes in a game. What a monster performance from deep it's been. Well, it's pretty clear that Collins is settling in to the strengths of his game. Martin outside. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Lays it up and banks it in. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. And Collins with the slam. Like it when Collins is cleaning up the glass and then just rocking the rim. And here's MP from outside. Barry pulls it in. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Down low. Oh, and it's Collins, John that time Hall. on the assist by Wall. Wall's got assist number eight now on the night. The Bucks have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Fires from the wing, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Martin's got 48. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Martin. Yep, that one goes. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Bucks.
And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. This will mark their 13th win of the year. Not a bad number. And they meet just twice, so taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for MP. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly... Connects again from distance. I don't think I've ever seen a player this dialed in from deep. And by the way, with that make, he's now alone in second place for most threes in a game. At this point, you have to go for that top spot, right? Collins. The Thunder with another miss. Martin against Wall. Let's it go from deep. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Pass to Collins. To the middle. They need this. And Wall lays it in. So physical for a one. Wall has the size and skill to do work in the paint. And here's MP from outside. Offensive rebound. Bucks. Shots good by Connaughton. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. So this one belongs to the Bucks. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight, and the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. So long, everyone. Stay focused on your workout. Get ready, folks. These two teams love pushing the ball. Greg, we could see a track meet tonight. Two of the top fast break teams. For the Pistons, the James Wiseman, he's checked in for Duran. Stewart comes in for Marvin Bagley. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Kyle Kuzma. Milwaukee also making some changes. MP comes in for Portis. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Drew Holiday. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at four. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Rose. And it's Martin in at the five. And the dunk by Stewart. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bondanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Three-pointer, Martin. 
Rebound, Detroit. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Tremendous poise on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. They were very patient, and that was the difference. It's hard to be patient, I know, but look at the outcome they had. No good on the triple. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Pistons. A 12-point game. And with Ivy, he gives you the physical traits you want at guard. Long, strong, athletic, lots of upside. And the slam dunk by Hunter Tacumbo. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, you don't shoot him. His length covers a ton of ground, and boy, is he fast. And Ivy especially effective in the open floor. Outstanding burst and speed. Plays with a high motor, and he's always in attack mode. Outside Bogdanovich. Offensive rebound, Stewart. And the rejection by Giannis! Milwaukee leading by 16. Rose passes to Martin. That one drops, and he's now two for five. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Down low. And the dunk by Stewart. A unique talent. Cunningham has the size of a wing and the skill of a point. Martin for three. Here's onto Takumbo, and Giannis throws it down. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Bogdanovich, no luck. Now, here's DiVincenzo. What a play! Simply drains it in at the buzzer. Big-time shot to beat the buzzer there. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we've got a... Keeping us all in motion. And glad to... Check in for Detroit. The box also changing it up. Martin's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Pat Connaughton. The backcourt guards are Cunningham and Ivy. Then it's Duran. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's a Kogi in at the four-man position. That's the group for Detroit right now. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against Oklahoma City was all business. He finished with 57 points and got there the usual way. An impressive barrage of three-pointers. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind-blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. That's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. Holiday finds Martin. Two minutes remaining in the... And they double up, MP. Two minutes. Now Detroit moving it up. Kuzma with the ball. Here's Duran. No good there. Great D that time for Martin. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Nice shot by Portis. Must put a body on Portis. He loves to crash the offensive glass. Cunningham kicks to Kuzma. Uncovered. Here's Duran. Great D that time from Portis. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Martin for three. Yes, it's good. Good for basket number four. He's now four for ten. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. And he banks in the layup. Martin's got seven now in this quarter. 
Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. Kuzma outside. Detroit, no good that time either. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Kuzma against Martin. Portis trying to free himself. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Kate Cunningham. The Bucks have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. A different look here for Detroit. Wiseman's checked in for Duran. Stewart comes in for Ivy. And it's Bogdanovich in for Kyle Kuzma. Detroit's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And the pass to Okogie. And here's Wiseman. Can they get it? Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Antetokounmpo's got nine rebounds now tonight. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Oh, that's a big man move by Wiseman, roughing up the D with that emphatic finish. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll return shortly. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback. Troy going with an almost entire new group here. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Duran. Stewart comes in for Marvin Bagley. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Akogi subbed in for Cunningham. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Then it's Rose, then it's MP, and it's Bochamp in at the two guard. We know you need talent to win, Steve, so how critical is basketball IQ to winning at the highest level? How important is it in that equation? Kevin, it's everything. A playoff series can turn on a single play, and the guys, you can tell the difference who has a high basketball IQ and an average IQ. It does make a difference. Look at Bogdanovich getting physical. Works hard to get the shot off and the foul. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. Free throw good, Bogdanovich. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. You know, a pretty consistent score throughout the course of his career. Bogdanovich, he was just born to get buckets. Beyond the arc, and another three for Milwaukee. And he's not going to miss those very often, even from deep. The D has to close out a little stronger on him. Pass to Okogi. Stewart down low. And the dunk by Stewart. Great move by Isaiah Stewart to find a lane to the rim. So powerful. It's Martin on the wing. He's covered by Wiseman. Middleton inside the three-point line. Good, and the assist goes to MP. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Knocks it loose. Stewart passes to Ivy. Here's a Kogi. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. 
And finished off James by Weisman. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. 36 seconds left in the third. Rose passes to Middleton. It's Martin on the wing. Five to shoot for three. Here's Yana. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Pistons have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. So much of the offense revolves around Kay Cunningham. He can do it all. Onto Takumbo, passes to Martin. He gets it up. Oh, my goodness, with no time left on the clock. Without a moment to spare, he guts this one out. Coaches always talk about closing quarters strong. Can't do it much better than that. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. The Bucks on top, running away with it. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And there have been two very different performances. For the Pistons, Duran, he's checked in for Stewart. Bagley comes in for Hudson. And Kyle Kuzma's subbed in for Hayes. Milwaukee also making some changes. Martin's checked in for Cousins. Grayson Allen comes in for Pat Connaughton. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. We talk about players. Steve, we talk about coaches and GMs but not too much about owners and their effect on the game and the organization. Kevin, the owners for me are A1. It starts from the top. They're the ones who hire the team president, GMs, and coaches. And certainly, there's some teams who have some great owners. Marvin Bagley is up there with Durham. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Kate Cunningham. And it's Wiseman in at the center. That's the group for Detroit right now. First free throw is good, so Detroit ends up going with the new group. And both free throws good for Martin. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Ivy passes to Hayes. Now, here's Ivy. To the inside. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bucks. And guys, the fast break was run, I thought, beautifully all night by these guys. I think that was a big part of their success. Yeah, they definitely ran the break well. A big advantage in that category. And they continually put pressure on the defense. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2-0 in the season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. I'll tell you, his shot blocking made a big impact. Whether it was on the ball or rotating over to help, he provided the intimidation factor his defense needed. Martin from outside doesn't go for him. Detroit's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. The shot by Ivy, no good. And it's Rose with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. To the middle. Martin's in the post, and the layup's good off the glass. Martin's got 30 points. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. 
big win on the road. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Martin, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Got a piece of it. Feeds the roads. Back to Martin. And the foul called on MP. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Yeah, that's a bad move there. Stops the clock and puts the other side on the line. The size Hayes possesses at his position is unique. He's good at using his physical advantages. Rose passes to Martin. The three can't connect. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.